Hi, I'm Zoe Lachlan, an intern here at the Earth and Spirit Center. Hi, I'm Alina Miles. I'm also an intern here at the Earth and Spirit Center. And today we're going to talk to you about the pollution in the Beargrass Creek. So the Beargrass Creek is Louisville's Creek. It is the creek that flows within our city and it is very sick right now. Um, our it's a very channelized creek so it doesn't flow natural anymore. It is kind of very straightened. There are parts that still flow naturally but most of the creek does not and it is also very polluted because it is seen as a nuisance and has been seen as a nuisance since Louisville became a major city. Um, because of this uh, view of it being a nuisance and it, because it's so channelized it no longer flows freely into the Ohio River as it used to be. There's a fear that it is too polluted to be a part of the water system since it, the Ohio River is used as a drinking water for a lot of communities. Yeah, Beargrass Creek is also a discharge area for our combined sewage overflow. So when we get really big rainstorms, there are flood walls that are located right next to some of the creek side that will open up and release all this sewage and storm water into this creek, just increasing the pollution. And that pollution holds um, human waste and just everyday waste that we use, like cups. And there are some toys that get thrown in there. Car tires get thrown in here. And a lot of this trash just sits in here for long periods of time because it takes it so long just to biodegrade itself. Because of this, it's so, you can see that there's a lot of trash still within the river, I mean the creek itself, and not only is it harmful to humans because of the pollution level and harmful to the organism and ecosystem that already exists, it takes away a site that was once beautiful and very natural and was once enjoyed by lots of people because now there's just so much trash in it. And when you come here, all you see is trash and it just takes away from everything that it used to be. A good way to clean up Beargrass Creek is helping repair the riparian zones, which are just our zones of vegetation that are on the side. Uh, repairing those will actually help increase water quality in parts of the river and then trying to remove as much trash from the river as possible to just get some of that gross gunk out to help improve it and then just letting it naturally flow and not disturbing it can help it increase its own, like fix its own water quality. Mm-hmm. <laughs>